Camp Swan is a grief camp for children who have lost a parent, sibling, or other significant person in their life. Joining us now to discuss how this camp can be a proper outlet for these children to express sadness, licensed master social worker Danita Holiday and licensed clinical social worker Eddie McGilling. Eddie, uh, Danita, good to see you. Thank you. And thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. You know, it's a serious subject, Danita, because I can't imagine what it would be like. These are children, what, 7 to 12 years old? 7 to 12. And this camp allows them, essentially, in your opinion, to do what? The opportunity to express their grief while having fun. We have jumpies, we have spike ball, volleyball, basketball, arts and crafts, and just a time to express their feelings and what's happening in their lives. And Eddie, I imagine you know, a lot of people keep, uh, children will keep these feelings inside, not sure how to process them really, and their family members, their parents, or whomever will try. But to have an opportunity like this uh, is really a great uh, time for It them, is, it's it? a great outlet. They actually learn that it's okay to play, um, it's okay to laugh, mm -hmm. it's okay to cry. Um, we give them that outlet and uh, we teach them a little bit about it's okay to do those things, but accepting that you have to recreate without that person, that's the hard part. And then I imagine it's also extremely helpful to be around other kids the same age who are going through the same thing. Exactly. And, and express your feelings and, and what, living in the moment. Yes, it's very How important. long has this been? I was telling you, I thought I remembered covering uh, one of these Camp Swan events uh, when it was over at Camp Wilkes right. uh, many years ago, and you, yes. now you're at Seaside Methodist? Seaside Methodist, yeah, right yeah. there where the police academy is. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought it was just fantastic. I just Thank think, uh, and uh, is it too late for people to sign up? Or? No, it's not. We, we have, we're, the camp's available, we, we're taking up to 20 children, and uh, we still have some openings. So just call, call the number and uh, we'll be glad to process the application. And, it's and, a free camp. And Eddie, uh, what do you, I'm also, uh, hate to phrase it, what do you enjoy about it, but what do you, know, what do you kind of self-satisfaction do you get out of knowing that you could be making a difference? Yeah, the lives? first camp I did, it was about 13 years ago and uh, it was my birthday on that Sunday. Um, the kids bought me a cake, um, they gave me artwork um, and they told me how much they appreciated what I gave them time yeah. an ear just to listen yeah, maybe a shoulder to cry on that's yeah. it yeah well it's coming up may uh, 18th through the 21st uh it's camp swan it's a great idea and uh, much needed in uh, the lives of children who are suffering from grief thanks to both of you for being here thank with you us. for having us god bless you and keep up the good work